We're taking a look this week at the leadership styles of the two major presidential candidates. Last night, we focused on President Obama. Tonight, Chief Political Correspondent Carl Cameron on how Mitt Romney gets things done. The person at the top of an organization sets the tone, establishes the vision, and says what the objectives are and then holds people accountable for following through on those measures. We have not seen that with this president. Mitt Romney says he developed his leadership skills in business, turning around the Olympics, and as governor of Massachusetts. Former Minnesota Governor Tim Pawlenty, a former GOP rival, is now his national campaign co-chairman. Organizations over time take on the personality and tempo and style of their leaders, and if you look at Mitt Romney's campaign, you see a campaign that's high-functioning, that is organized, that's disciplined, that is collegial and collaborative, and uh, it, it's impactful, and it reflects a lot about Mitt. Romney's often portrayed as either a risk-averse micromanager or an overly detached delegator in stories about his days at the private equity firm Bain Capital or behind the scenes in his political campaigns. But by all accounts, he's demanding, wants mountains of data, accountability, and results. He brings this element of let's make sure we measure, let's make sure we hold accountable people for outcomes, not just a rhetoric. Romney's been running for office for decades, but only served as governor of Massachusetts for four years. He was often chastised for not fitting in on Beacon Hill with all his corporate attitudes. He's never cozied up with the special interests in D.C. either, which could make it tougher to implement his reforms. I think, you know, a lot of times in this town, someone tries to do something and the response from people who've been here a long time is, well, that's not how we do it. And uh, I think Governor Romney's uh, response to that will be, well, we're going to try something new. Romney has a temper, but most who've experienced it say it's in an almost obsessive pursuit of information to make a decision. He debates vigorously. And sometimes people may misinterpret that as the governor being argumentative. Uh, but he's not arguing with you. He's actually testing uh, the strength of uh, your argument or the position that, 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 that you've taken in, in, in a meeting. Romney's leadership style and record have been through four years of scrutiny across two presidential campaigns. His biggest decision as a candidate will be his running mate. And whether it turns out to be a good one or a bad one won't be known until Election Day. Brett? Carl, thank you.